So just on the way to Scotland now, we're going to Canyon Port um, to get the ferry over to Belfast. Just gone past the ferry, I think he was 210 years of age. Shouldn't be on the road. Should be in a care home, playing fucking drafts, pissing down his leg. How are you feeling, How are you feeling about getting on this ferry? Well, I'm very nervous, I'm not a good traveller, I'm frightened of getting on a ferry, you know, I always I think something's gone out and the bottle's gone, to be honest with you. We made it. How are you feeling about it? Feel like vomiting. Honestly, that bad? Yeah. You'll be alright. You'll be alright, won't you, everyone? Feeling a bit better? Feel great, you know, the room's like a, like a hotel room, it looks great. Um, so I'd feel a lot better, hope that's not us later. Put the CB on, thought I'm getting winched up. But no, um, I feel like a thousand percent better. It's not what I thought. So, when last time we went to Tenerife and you flew and stuff, yeah. we got a lot of people commenting and whatever coming in saying that they were struggling with flying and it was like quite cool to hear yeah. from you that you were struggling with that as well and you managed to battle it and get over it. What did the week look like for you this week? Horrendous really, anybody who's got a fear of anything at all, flying or, I don't know, anything, any fear that you've got. As the crisis point is approaching, you know, as each day, you know, say it's Monday today, not too bad, I've got three days, got four days, but when it gets to the actual day, like last night, yeah, I was really in bitter, couldn't sleep. Yeah. And this morning, and I kind would of you, like... Would you, would you not been able to get on the plane at all? I wouldn't have got on the plane, no. no. I wouldn't have got on the plane. Um, I was hypnotised and I felt fantastic. Yeah. I couldn't have got on my own um, if you wouldn't have been with me on Daisy. But I've done it. It's not like people saying face your fears. They haven't got the fear. You know, they haven't got the phobia. Yeah. I've got a mate of mine who's terrified of dogs. Now, it might sound silly to other people, but to him it's a real fear. You know, it's a real fear. It's not something that people make up. The only suggestion I've got to people I've tried everything, you know, don't drink, can make you worse, you get drunk to try and, and it kind of like, kind of compounds, it makes it work. Try hypnotherapy. Wait for you. It really works and I did, I'm one of those fellas that thought I'll never be hypnotised, no one can hypnotise me, it's just rubbish. But when I went in, Phil Steele, he's fantastic in Liverpool, um, if you want to go to a hypnotherapist, Phil Steele, amazing. Got to the airport, felt great, relaxed, got on the plane and all the way there, brilliant. But obviously that's worn off a little bit now, or you? Well, the reason it worn off, because as we're coming into land, there was a problem, can you believe that? So the landing gear didn't come down, so we had to circle and stuff, so that put me right back, destroyed everything, all the work Phil Steele had done on me, maybe a nervous wreck, so when we came back, the following week after the shows, I was back to square one, I was filling myself with brandy, so, if I fly again this year, I'm going to go back to Phil, get get hypnotised again, but uh, I so don't know. What What's your current feeling now on, on this boat? Are you bothered? At the moment, I feel great because it's still in port. It hasn't got, it's not underway, and it just reminds me of a big hotel. I'll be, I think I'll be okay. Yeah. Right. So, let's see how it goes. See you in a little bit. Sorry, you literally just saw, said, oh, is that land over there? And then just ran to the window, didn't you? I thought it was the Isle of Man. <laughs> I thought we were off course. So, arrived in Belfast. I'm just going to go and help Frank check, get into the room now because I'm sure he's having some difficulty. What's happening? Well, what's it like? Let me get a bath. It's great, it's okay, you know, it's fine. I don't really like these posh hotels. Why do you want to stay in a Hilton hotel? Could have got like a bed and breakfast or something. Let me get a shave and a bath. So we're, we're just we're just in the bar now. I'm having a little beer. I don't drink tea total. Just having a, uh, a cup of tea. Yeah. I used to drink, you know. Don't, I'm not an angel, but like a lot of people, straighten yourself out. Look at me. Got a fantastic life now. You know, earning good money. Shooting off to the venue now. Looking forward to it. Just finished a nice bit of food. Thank you. Looking forward to tonight. Looking forward to tonight. Just had our meal. In the Hilton Hotel in Belfast, not Kensington, <laughs> Liverpool, not, not a kebab from the kebab house on the corner of Rufford Road in Kenny, Hilton Hotel, get on it, get on it. See you when we get to Limavady.
catch you on the other side. Frank, <laughs> just arrived backstage, where are we? We're at Limmer Valley Football Club in Limmer Valley, Limmer Valley Bally Kelly. We know Mark from Bridge North in Shropshire. He was running a football club there a few years ago. That was about three years ago, I think, was it? Three or I four think years? it was, yeah. yeah and uh, we've done a night there, a fantastic night. Put a smashing crowd there, we've got a good sense of humour, it'll be great. Mark, what made you decide to put the night on? Because obviously you've seen Frank before. Yeah, I've seen Frank before and I've, I've been on the end of some of Frank's jokes before as well, to be fair. So, um, But no, it was it was a no-brainer for us, really. Um, you know, we're looking to raise money for the for the kids' football. Um, you know, and, and every night we've ever had, we've had Frank twice over in England. And both nights were, were brilliant for us as a, as a, as a small club. So, um, you know, it, was, it was made, made sense to do it again now that I'm back in Northern Ireland. Believe it or not, um, you football fans out there, Mark used to play for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Tell me a little bit about your career. Uh, well, I went to I went to Wolves as a. As a what was your name? Sorry, you tell me your name. Mark Clyde. Uh, went to Wolves as a 15 year old and, and stayed there for for nine and a half years, and then obviously had to retire uh, due to injury. Great times at Wolves. Great times in England. You know, we played in the Championship and the Premiership, so. Uh, yeah, great times, like, so it's, it's nice to be back home uh, where everything's a bit slower, a bit more casual, and the Guinness is a lot better. So, yeah, good to be home. Just asked ask Mark, Mark recently, your uh, name's been mentioned in connection with Michael Jackson. How well did you know? How well did you know Michael? <laughs> Bit of a weird one, this. The way the room's set up, so obviously I went out to do a mic check and then give a 10 minute announcement for the drinks and stuff. The room set out and I said to Frank, it's a little bit cold over the right hand side, so as, what, what I meant was it's like, there's not much atmosphere, but to the left of you, it's fucking boom and chock-a-block and people are loving it. And what was your reaction to that? Well, what you gotta do when you get a strange room like that, where one side of the room is kind of heaving and the other side can't really see you, and so there's not as many there. You can't play to both of them because you'll end up losing both sides of the room. So a little bit sad, but you have to abandon one side of the room. They can only kind of see you from the back. Strangely enough, lots of places I've done over the years, the side that can't even see you laugh twice as much as the people who can see you. So it's all a bit weird, but uh, yeah, my mate Mickey Finn told me that years ago, you know, a good tip. He was a great old pro. He said, no, just, What's in front of you work to them. You just have to forget about those for the time being. Turn around every now and then, you know, but you can't really concentrate on them if the majority of the people are on one side of the room. Take note. Any young comedian... There's the master telling you. Don't kill yourself trying to entertain two sides of a room if it's physically impossible. Look to see where there's more people concentrate on that side and just abandon the other side. Bit sad, but that's the way it is. What are you up to? Just uh, had a good first session, just having a cup of tea, great first spot there, with a great crowd. Some fell at the end, uh, being a bit of a dickhead, uh, but you know, he couldn't take a bit of stick. But I got over it, you know, shut him up in the end, he's alright. Just guess some people just get a bit too excited. New strings to your boat, autograph signer. It is what it is, and if people want it, you know, I'll give it to them. Just finishing off leaving the show. Uh, yeah, tonight. fantastic night of Lima Vaddy. Got some sandwiches to eat in bed. <laughs> uh, you can tell them we're not in Liverpool, because in Liverpool we all eat chips in bed and curry, rice, everything. We all eat in bed, most of the telly. We don't work. Oh, I've just been asleep in the car. You drove home, didn't you? Fuck off your fucking cabinet. Heading home now. Going down for a breakfast in the hotel. And we are off. We've literally just hit 28,000 likes on Facebook. We start planning on Monday for the rest of the year, all our dates. And if you want to see us over in Northern Ireland, tell us exactly where you are. And uh, we'll sure to make sure that we put that in our plans. And we'll see you when we get back to Liverpool. See you later, take care. Nice one. Just arrived back home. Happy to be back. Glad to be back, just want to get home now. Have a hot bath and a shave and get in bed. 
dead tired. It's been a very long journey. See you later. Good trip though? Great trip, great crowd. I'd love to go back there again. It's great Northern Ireland. Smashing people, but a good sense of humour. Great, see you later.